hey you guys welcome back to my channel so as you can see in the title of the video i'm just going to be doing a quick little story time on what the heck happened on my birthday so in case you didn't know my birthday was on june 5th which was the friday that just passed and let me just say that i was not expecting to uh black out <laughs> So if you just want to hear the tea, then just go ahead and keep on watching. Okay, so before we get started, let me go ahead and show you my top. So this top is from Shop Vulgar B, and look how cute it is. Very freaking cute. I love pink. Pink is my favorite color. So this is such a cute summer top. Go check them out on Instagram. And then look at these lashes. I'm so ready to fly away. <laughs> these lashes are from Thrifty Lashes in the style Chardonnay. So uh, yeah, go check them out too. Let's get back to the tea. I mean, there's not really any tea, but uh, I don't know, whatever. So anyways, so June 5th was my birthday. It was a Friday and originally um we were gonna go to cali with family and i was gonna go celebrate over there but you know things happen and uh miss rona came and she just f***ed everything up so uh <sighs> but yeah um so we ended up staying here and we had already thought of you know having like a little get together here at our place i didn't really want to do anything um that crazy like Brian um, wanted to take me out to go eat at a restaurant and I didn't really want to go but we still went anyways <laughs> but yeah I don't know I felt very sad and like nervous on my birthday I don't even know why but I think it's because like I'm already 25 years old someone's knocking <sighs> sorry that was FedEx but anyways back to my story I think it's because I am now 25 years old and I feel like pretty old now. I mean, I know it's not old, but I just feel old and, you know, I still haven't um, done anything with my life. So that's why I just kind of felt like sad and stuff. And also because I wasn't celebrating with my family and stuff like that. So yeah, but other than that, like I try not to think about it like that. I tried to look on the bright side. Once I woke up, I went to my nail appointment. Look how pretty my nails came out. So cute my um nail tech he's really good at what he does here so if you live in jacksonville then check out my nail tech his instagram is at the mail tech and then, then after that i went to starbucks because when it's your birthday you get a free drink so i did that and then once i got back like i had to get ready quickly because our reservations at the restaurant was at 5 30 the food was so good like we've never been there so it was cool uh you could get as much food as you want from the salad bar and then you have like these little circles on the table and then if you flip them that means the waiters will, will come with meat like different types of meat and they'll be like oh do you want this do you want this how um well do you want it like do you want it medium rare do you want it well done and then they like slice off the, the meat for you and it's so good there was like ribeye there was lamb there was chicken parmesan there was shrimp a bunch of food and it was so good i wish i could have vlogged everything for you guys honestly that day it was just like everything was happening so quickly and that was like the last thing in my head so that's why i didn't vlog so sorry that's why i'm making this little story time for you guys um i know story times are way different than actually like seeing everything happen so then after you know um we ate and had our dinner that place was low-key expensive <laughs> we went to go pick up some alcohol brian ended up getting a bottle of patron he got a bottle of Bugana. he got like some beer that he tried in spain let me see his little fridge is right here so i can like show you guys so he ended up getting this Perfect. It's really good actually. This is what it is. And it is premium cider Copperberg with strawberry and lime. This is really good. He tried this in Spain. The bad thing about this is that I think only certain states have these drinks. So I think it's only the East Coast. I think, I'm not quite sure, but I know in California they don't have these drinks. So that's like, I can't be like, oh, go try them out because they don't sell any in California. So that's what sucks, but he got like a bunch of those. Also ended up buying some chamoy, 
um, to put on the rim of the cups and stuff. I got regular chamoy and just um, mango chamoy and it was really, really good. I had bought something called Drinkade that supposedly it like you drink it before you decide to drink alcohol and the next day you won't get a hangover. You know what that shit did not even work for me other reviews were like oh yeah it works it works and stuff so that's why i was like oh like it's gonna work you know that shit did not work on me it did work on my other friends and on brian but it didn't work for me for some reason i don't know why but this is what it is it's called drink aid and this is the limeade flavor and this is disgusting you literally have to chug it because this shit is nasty but um, there's another one, but I didn't want to get the other one because that one had caffeine and this one doesn't have caffeine. I got it off of Amazon and it didn't freaking work for me. So I was like so sad the next day because I was going through it the next day. I drank Brian's juice. So if you guys don't know, it's like a drink that he makes with Bucana and cranberry juice. So, so good. So I drank two or three cups of those. My friend Bria and her husband, Alex, they got me a bottle of Patron. So we ended up taking shots. I just kept telling people, take a shot with me, take a shot with me. You know, it's my birthday for my birthday. And I was just taking shots at, like back to back. Out of nowhere, like I just felt it like hit me like poof. And that's when I was like, damn, like I'm really feeling it now. Like I'm fucking, I'm getting drunk now. I only remember certain parts of the night <laughs> after that like I remember going on live on Instagram live and I took a shot on there too and um, I don't even know what I was talking about on my live and then I remember that Brian and um, his friend Hunter they started making chilaquiles because they got hungry I remember <laughs> oh my god you guys I remember Okay, they were they were playing music on the TV and they put Meg the Stallion on there and then um, <laughs> I remember yelling across the freaking room to Brian like, I'm never gonna be able to look like that. I'm never gonna be able to look like that. So that sucks. I'm sorry that you're you're stuck with me and my the way I look. And then I remember he was like saying stuff back to me, but I honestly don't even remember what like he was talking about. So I was just like so like I was feeling so insecure and stuff. I don't know what the hell. And honestly, you guys, every time I get drunk, I always bring up getting my boobs done. And Brian, he's not for it at all. Like he does not approve. And that's all like that's something that I've always wanted like ever since I was little I said that if my boobs don't grow to like a certain size that I want I'm gonna get them done <sighs> and every time I get drunk I always bring that up like oh like I'm gonna get my boobs done I'm gonna get my boobs done and I was just saying some stupid ass shit I remember my friend was telling me that I was like crying oh my god I felt so embarrassed like when I heard this the next day I was like what the hell and then I remember the song Clout by Offset and Cardi B. It came on. And then I was like, oh, I'm going to dance on Brian. And I was freaking dancing on him, you guys. Oh, my God. I remember that. And then after that, something happened and I got mad. And I went to the room and I started crying. Oh, I was just being so dumb and so sensitive. And then I just remember going to the bathroom. And I was just forcing myself to throw up because I felt like shit. Like, I felt really, really, really bad. And I remember my um, two of my friends like checking up on me. They're like, are you okay? And I'm like, yeah, I'm good. Like, I just feel like shit. My friends like, just keep forcing yourself to throw up. Like, just try to throw up as much as you can. And I just remember being on the toilet for a very, very long time. And then after that, I just remember being in the room. I just remember peeking out to see where Brian was at. He was in the balcony smoking a cigar. And then um, I don't remember after that. I don't even remember going to bed, going to sleep. I don't even remember. The next day I woke up and I was like, <gasps> like if it was just a dream, like you know those movies where like you see something happen and then they wake up and it was like a dream the whole time. That's how I felt when I woke up. And I was like, what the hell? Like what the fuck happened? <laughs> I was so, <laughs> I had to get up because the, um, he was crying, he wanted a bottle. And when I got up, my head was spinning and I had a huge headache and I was like, holy shit, I'm hungover. The freaking drink aid did not work. 
I was so freaking mad. But yeah, it was just so crazy. Me and Brian woke up like around 9 in the morning and then we took a shower. I made breakfast for them and I tried to eat breakfast too, but I couldn't. Like I was so hungover. I went back to bed and I knocked out. I knocked out the, almost the whole damn day. Penelope ended up knocking out with me too. She slept for a long time too because she um, fell asleep when everybody left, which was like, Brian said like at 3, 4 a.m. Me and her knocked out and then Brian was taking care of Zeke the whole day. And then, you know, Zeke would take his naps too and stuff. But Brian didn't sleep at all. Like, he was feeling good. And then I was like, did you get, like, really drunk too? He's like, yeah, I got drunk too. And I was like, holy shit. Because I made him, like, take, like, two, three shots with me. And then, yeah, I don't even know what happened after that. <laughs> I do not plan on getting drunk like that anytime soon. Like, hell no. I had a really, really bad hangover. Ugh, I hate that feeling. Especially because, you know, I have kids. I have to take care of them. I can't just lay down and fucking go to sleep you know what i mean like i have to freaking take care of them too but luckily brian was not feeling the way i was feeling so he was able to take care of zeke and stuff i ended up asking my friend like hey like what happened i was like was i acting stupid like what, what was going on she's like girl you went from zero to 100 real quick when um you started you know talking about your insecurities and stuff and then i was my friend was telling me to calm down that it's okay and stuff and oh my god you guys i felt so embarrassed when she told me that i was like oh i don't like being like that person that just freaking blurts out anything without like thinking first and then she told me that my other friend she was really drunk too and she was spit on my hair and like i don't even know there was like so many things that freaking happened and i was just like whoa like that's crazy oh you know what and we were supposed to play games too and we didn't even play fucking games <laughs> we like totally forgot but i had so much fun like other than being hungover and acting freaking stupid i'm glad that i was able to at least celebrate my birthday last year i couldn't because i was pregnant and i just want to say thank you guys so much to those who wish me a happy birthday and who got me like a gift i appreciate it so much brian he spoiled me so much this year for my birthday thank you babe if you're watching this i love you so much but yeah you guys that is the story of how my birthday went so yeah you guys i know i haven't um, been posting as often on my channel if there's any specific videos you guys would like to see please let me know in the comment section below and also um you know i didn't want to post any videos or like any pictures everything has just been so crazy it is just so heartbreaking um seeing all these stories on um, social media and like how some people just have not gotten any justice i encourage you guys to educate yourselves or ask for someone to educate you on like specific topics and just research do your research um donate if you can sign petitions share share and share that's what i've been doing a lot like i've been sharing a lot of information i've been signing um signing petitions i've been donating and black lives matter i will always support you guys i will always stand with you guys don't forget to give this video a thumbs up once you finish watching it and also go ahead and hit that subscribe button down below and turn on your post notifications so you guys can get notified every single time i post a new video thank you guys so much for watching the story time and i'll see you guys in my next one bye